What it's really all about, the entire movement of ADR in American legal education, is reinvigorating Rule 2.1 of the Rules of Professional Conduct. How do you be an advisor for people? How do you okay. counsel? And that rule, for example, it says quite okay. overtly. Yeah. Okay, so, Professor, yeah. how do you? What do you think is going to be the critical aspects then? Oh, it's easy. Could, it's actually design, sure. Good. Sure. We are do doing it. this. We are okay. doing this. Uh, good. In fact, that's the heart of what we're trying to do at Hamlin, okay. and it's the heart of what I think my colleagues are trying to do at other law schools. All right. It involves a fundamental kind of rearrangement of what legal education is in terms of what actually is taught in law schools. For example, it's unbelievable to me that American law schools don't teach as a required course a multidisciplinary approach to theories of conflict. Okay, this would be considered a core, well, it's the absolute core course of any graduate program if you're studying conflict resolution. Right. You, you can't even get to your other subjects till you do that, okay? And that now, is what law is about, is conflict resolution. That's all or it's about. Or conflict management okay, at the very least. That's all it's about. Yes. Now, okay, so yes. that's a starting point. That yes. would have to be part of this curriculum. Okay. There would have to be an emphasis from the beginning of the legal education right. that the role of a lawyer is to work with clients to help them, yes. providing the various expertise that we have, yes. to help them resolve problems in the most efficient way they can. Okay. Recognizing that efficiency means a lot of different things. When I use that word, of course I mean time and money, but more importantly I mean impact on themselves, mm -hmm. on third parties, on the lawyers, on the judges. I mean that therapeutic dimension of thinking about well-being and that we can actually create a perspective on lawyering, which obviously draws yes. heavily from mediation, that your job is to help people manage conflict, sometimes resolve conflict, and to do it in a way that maximizes the utility for society as a whole. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and I think lawyers can do that. So what kinds of practical skills do you teach them to do then? Well, you still need, and I think I have a job, I'm teaching civil procedure now, which is the ultimate kind of bounded course. You know, These are the rules you use if you're going to be in litigation. But I think as, even as I do that, I'm already beginning with my first year students. How would you most effectively talk to a client about these rules? Okay. So that you could so help you have communication. Their, you got communication. You got, you got to teach listening in a sophisticated okay. way. You got to teach you know, sources of conflict or conflict theory and applications. Sure. sure. What about negotiation? Well, that's the core. Fundamental. It's, it should be a requ so, it, It's absolutely, you know, got to so be a core, required course in every law school. That's ridiculous you, that it's not. All right. And, yeah. and it's still not. In most law schools, no. Now, we've done a good job. By we, I mean that kind of the ADR movement as a whole. Most law schools now have offerings in negotiation, for that matter, mediation. 